Today I'll be doing yet another LEGO Bionicle Journey to 1 set review on set number 8940, Karzani. This set was released in the summer of 2007 and comes with 373 pieces. Um, this is the biggest Titan set and also the biggest set excluding the system sets of the whole entire year of 2007. To my knowledge, if I'm incorrect, let me know in the comments uh, down below. So there's a lot to look at this set and I just wanted to give a disclaimer that there's a lot of... Um, different pieces I had to replace because not everything uh, uh, was, came with the set when I got with it, but I know that what uh, things are 100% are right or correct is the trap for Karzani and Sarda. Karzani has a lot of different pieces that I had to replace, and also I just has the wrong mask. So I just want to uh, let you guys know about that, and just so you guys don't have to call me out in the comments, because I'm already fully aware of that. But I decided to review the set anyway, just without you know, worrying about the mistakes or the incorrect pieces. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to look at the Mari Matoran. So here we have our heroes of the set. We have Sarda, or I almost said Volta, and Idris, which I've already pointed out that she has the incorrect mask, I know, and uh, it's supposed to be in dark metro blue, the same shade of blue that's used for the Ignite feet. And speaking of the Ignite feet, I'm not a big fan of these guys having it. I like what uh, Dekar and Defilic have with these small feet. Um, well, the Metro Nui feet, I like to call them. I prefer those feet better than these because when you pose these guys in some kind of position, their feet touch each other, uh, touch each other and it kind of looks weird and off, but that's just me, so just want to point that out real quick. So I'm going to go into the story a little bit. So these guys went on an expedition with, here we have the feel like again, and um, they got lost, well, they got captured by Pridak and they lost each other and these guys got mutated and they were able to breathe in their water and they got these weapons with claws, you know, hook shield thing and a sword and they met up with Flesivik and uh, they met Karzani which pretty much this whole set goes around with capturing Karzani so they captured Karzani a little spoiler there but you probably already knew that I don't know but yeah so that's a little background information and I'm gonna do a little comparison because there's quite a few differences between these guys and I feel like I don't have Dekar with me as I don't own the set but I noticed that these uh, Dekar not Dekar Sarda and Idris have eye stocks and the feel like doesn't. It's probably because they have the breathing apparatus hose, which explains why how they breathe on their water. Um, or it's just they don't, I guess, I don't remember seeing if they had, hearing about they had hoses on them. I don't know, I haven't read the chapter books in a long time. But um, they have the hose that goes around their back. They have a little pin blue axle thing going around and goes to the eye stock. It's not the one with kind of the end sticking out. It's just the one you can put like an axle placement in. Um, they also have different weapons from Dekar. So yeah, Dekar doesn't have the eye stock. Uh, doesn't have the breathing, uh, the tube thing going on. Has different feet, like I said, with the Anika feet. These guys have Anika feet. This guy just has, uh, well, Dekar, not Dekar. I keep mixing up the names. My apologies. The feel like has the Metro Nui feet, but the build's pretty much the same for like the torso and the arms and everything like that. Just the feet are different. They have eye stocks. They have different weapons. That's pretty much it. You know, De uh, the feel like has the Xamor spear. These guys don't. They probably, I think, they lost in the story, but or even if they had any. So, yeah, let's move, I feel like, off to the side. But, yeah, these guys have a uh, regular range of posability. Actually, not really. They have a little bit different. They have pretty limited. They really just move their arms around 60 degrees. They don't have any kind of elbow uh, posability or knee posability, but you move their feet uh, 306 degrees, but you can move the legs out. It's really awkward, but they use the Borok legs. Um, yeah, you can kind of move the legs 306 degrees, the feet in the same same thing. Um, the heads, you can move pretty much side to side. You could turn 306 degrees, but the tube kind of restricts that. Um, but everything else, that's pretty much it for posability and for these guys overall. So now let's take a look at Karzani. So I just tried to record this big fish boy, and I had a lot of trouble because these pieces were falling off of him. Uh, we had the squid launcher things. I, I don't have the squid launcher. Like I said earlier, a lot of his pieces aren't here. I said to replace them with uh, like the claw pieces, uh, but the squids are supposed to go underneath his arm, but they, they come off in general for all the figures. And then the, I have the claws, which are supposed to go on the elec heads, and these, they just fall off easily. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep them off, but I just want to point that out to you guys that they go there. But yeah, so we're going to go over, first I want to go over the height. He's a really tall figure. Here he is next to small boy Sarda. He barely goes up to his waist, but yeah, he's a pretty tall dude. And for articulation... He has 360 degrees in his hands. You move his arms forward and back and tilt them side to side. He has these big, uh, same arm pieces that are used for Carpar and Mantex, but this he has a recolor for him, which has a, the clash between lime green and dark green, which I absolutely love. I love how that looks, um, but it kind of restricts his posability, sadly, for his entire arm in itself. But I think it's 
appropriate. So also his head, really ugly and weird. I, I love it. You know, I call him fish face or crawfish, but he got also mutated in the story like Iris and Sarda. But he can move his head upwards, kind of like looking up like, hello. And then, you know, kind of having hunchback kind of do. It looks really ugly and weird. He also has a really big gap in, between his neck. So it doesn't really do well for cars on. Also a little bit in his chest. Um, he also, for recolors, I love is that not only is the man tax and car park, uh, chest piece. He also has the Bakama Hordika head or mask, my apologies, and uh, dark green, which I really like a lot. And the legs, you can move sideways 306 degrees, but you can really move it forward and back. His legs pretty much only have him in a forward position. He also has the piston uh, thing that all the tiny sets for 2007 have. We can kind of have him sit down a little bit or have his legs move off the side or wherever you like to have it. But it's a good range of posability. I like how it is. It kind of Gives more, um, what's the word, range of motion for the figure's legs. Um, looking around to the back, and Karzani's kind of hard to pose. That's why I mentioned earlier. So he doesn't want to stand sometimes. There we go. Uh, on his on the back, he has the same cape as Vizon, and he also has the two Borak call shields from Leva Call, but they're in gunmetal gray. He also has the two red uh, two pieces that go from his back to his head or his mouth. So I guess it's kind of like a breathing apparatus, same as with Sarda and Idris. So that's pretty cool. I like his head build too, as he uses the feet from Prydak, but they're in dark green. Yeah. And, sorry, I said that all weird. And he has the Borak eyes. He's got these two ears, which, see, it's supposed to be uh, silver, this one. So, uh, yeah, I believe that's pretty much it. Also, he's got these weird claw things going on. I don't know what this is all about, but they kind of stick out and move around a little bit. But I just tend to keep them to his chest. And also has the chains which are weird. I guess they kind of like using them as weapons to whip around at Idris and Sarda. And I believe that's pretty much it for Karzani. Now let's take a look at the trap. So here we have the trap that's used for Karzani, which I guess I'm assuming that Lesevic, Sarda, and Idris made to capture Karzani or is just something they found. But it's a really cool build. It uses eight Vaki swords, which is the same sword, but eight times it two on each side here, making it four, and then two on the top here, and then use on the stand at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Um, we also are able to position the trap upwards a little bit more, I believe. So I guess if you're trying to not only capture cars on, you can capture someone else. We'll also have some tubes going on here. And yeah, and also some Borok eyes, which are like a different color, and well, they're pretty cool. Actually, that's, that's used from the original Boroks. Uh, and then also a little armor shell piece there. So now we're gonna try to Capture Karzani. I remember in the story, I think uh, the trap crushed Karzani, but I don't think this one will. I just hold him in place. But all you have to do is at each side, you're able to put this forward and have Karzani be trapped and unable to escape. So now Sarda and Idris were successful, and Lesevic, if he was included in the set, caught Karzani or defeated him. I don't know. They really crushed him in the story, but it doesn't seem like it here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the trap. Now let's get into my final thoughts of this review. So that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you all for watching. And I just want to say um, that I'm sorry this review seemed really rushed. I really love the set and I want to take my time to re review this. But for some apparent reason, I couldn't really talk and I had to re-record a lot of uh, talking about Karzani or Idris and Sarda or the trap. Um, it's weird. Uh, this whole review was really uh, hard to make. Uh, just for me talking in general. So my apologies about that. It will not be like that for the next review. And speaking of the next review, it would be the Feel Like. And just to give a rating in the set, I do recommend it. It does have a quite a few problems. I've already given my issues with the set throughout this review. Um, but I, if, I could, if I were to recommend it, if you can get it for a decent price, sure. If you get the whole set completed, like Karzani does have quite a few problems, but it depends if you get like a barely new, but you know, the set's over 10 years old now. But if you can get a rarely, uh, barely new Karzani, you know, figure or set of the set itself, I think you'll like this set a lot, but I'm missing quite a few pieces, but I love the figure. Very nostalgic to me. This set is, a, I love this set, but it's got its issues. Um, I would give it a seven out of 10. That's the best I can give it. And I, it's up to you if you, I, I don't know, it's kind of in the middle for me. I do recommend it, but I don't recommend it. It's 50, 50, but it's up to you. Um, thank you all for watching. And like I said, next week is the feel like, and um, hoping we like this recording uh, next week. So thank you all for watching until then. I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.